Here we go. Gary Lamb made it Mania 49ers. Pats post game live action, baby. 49ers leading 30 to 13. 237 to go. 49ers driving. Jordan Mason running. And we are back on track. But that doesn't bring the music back because only winners get intro music 49ers after this win today will be 500 and you don't get intro music unless you're a winner 49ers have to have a winning record to get intro music but they're winners today i gotta do something you got you gotta get your fan on baby you know i gotta i gotta contribute and before today, I felt like I was working hard in the 49ers to get the wins, but that didn't include Fred Warner. Fred Warner, he had a game in the first half. A little bit worried that 54 went down with an ankle injury. He ain't been in there. There's uh, Sam Okuwanu. I got to get his name right. 91 Okuwanu, get his name right because his game is tight. 91 defensive band 49ers, uh, Sam Okuwanu. Another, another, he flashed again today. Why is Brack Purdy in there with 235 to go? 30 to 13? Trying to get some kind of rhythm with Brandon Ayuk. Jennings still looking good, looking confident. And I'm just going to break down the stats for Brack Purdy. I'm not going to go long because this game was over before it started, as it should be. As it should have been. But as of right now, Brock Purdy, 15 for 27, uh, 10 and a half yards per uh, pass, a touchdown, interception, a sack, an 89.7 rating. Brock played fine. The, the, the numbers don't even say how well he played. Going deep a couple times, hit Jennings, hit Debo, and Brock hands it off to Jordan Mason. Jordan Mason, as we speak, that's his 22nd carry. He's about 95 plus yards. He's gonna have under four and a half right now. He's got a touchdown. He should have had a, a passing touch or a receiving touchdown, but it was taken away because too many penalties. There's a flag on the play. That, that's that's one of the things that kind of messed it up for the Niners. Um, too many penalties. Too many mistakes. Uh, they're cleaner than they were before. But back to Brock. Uh, for a guy who had a hell of a game. Yeah, taking care of business, if you can hear that. Yeah. For a nice taking care of business. You know, oh, yeah, no, no music for teams who don't have an above 500 record unless you're playing game one. Brock Purdy, he looks fine. I'm not giving him a hard time, but... It's the whole team. He shouldn't be running around like he shouldn't be needing to do all the stuff he's needing to do. Uh, four rushes, uh, 12 yards, but a couple of big first down pickups on that first uh, drive to get the 49ers ahead. They, they, needed, they needed to lead. Uh, didn't score touchdowns early. I'm really not worried about the 49 offense. But the one thing I am worried about, man, Brock Purdy and uh, Brandon Ayuk, they don't have their timing down. The one interception Brock threw... Um, he may have had Ayuk earlier, but they just do not have their timing down. That holdout really cost Brandon Ayuk. I was hoping he'd break out this game. I hope he'd demand the ball. He looks like he's burning inside. It looks like everyone's having fun, but Brandon Ayuk, he is in a pity party. Uh, he does not really feel part of the Goonies. But you know what? It's a long way to the Goondogs, brother. And you may have a pot of gold at the end of the season if you win the Super Bowl, but... 49ers going to stay tough up the middle. All right. Let me break this down. Gary Lamb, Man Event Mania. Post game live. 49ers leading. Uh, going to the two minute warning. Fourth quarter. 30 to 13. Um, Jordan Mason, nice game. Debo Samuels, I want to recognize him. Uh, didn't put up the biggest stats. He had a long, long pass reception. Three catches, 58 yards. Uh, he had a couple runs for 14 yards. But man, Isaac Arendo. Big time fumble, but you know, Debo is down for whatever. He'll return kicks. He'll do whatever for this team. Debo's got heart, and that's what counts. All right. Uh, George Kittle. We got to get him the ball more in the red zone. The 49ers stalled in the red zone a couple times, but if there's any guy you could throw it up to, it is Kittle, and the other guy is Jennings. Jennings, another strong game. Three catches, 88 yards. George, uh, George Kittle, four catches, 45 yards. We need to go to him more in the red zone. We should have gone to him more in the red zone. 
Um, that's where we're missing Christian McCaffrey because he is a touchdown scorer. But we're not missing too much because not only is Jordan Mason a tremendous inside tackle runner, man, he's catching the ball a lot better. Do it, try to do his best uh, Christian McCaffrey impression. Not the same thing, but not bad either. Some tough catches today. He would have had a touchdown catch. There goes McCaffrey and Lynch. He's like, you sucker, you you got... Uh, Lynch is telling McCaffrey, you got me, man. I didn't know you had that ankle, man. You got me. You got me. Look at Brett. Jordan Mason just pounding through. And I'm gonna get I'm gonna get off the air uh <clears throat> before the game's over, if I can. But I was gonna say the 49ers had looked soft in the middle before today, but 90 uh <clears throat> and I, I wanna say the guys who were soft, Jake Brendel. Center, 49ers. On the other side of the ball, Javon Hargrave, defensive tackle, looking uh, soft. Uh, I didn't see too, enough out of Malik Lee Hall's 99, but I saw a 99 flash all over the place. Uh, Jordan Elliott had an injured ankle, but I saw, I saw him in there making some stuff happen. Um, and I want to say, Kevin Givens, man, he's been in a part of the road. Oh, kid! Mason, go down the sideline! He cuts in! And he's taken down from behind. One thing about the Niners, we don't got a lot of speed out there. That's all right. Um, and I was talking about um, Kevin Gibbons highlighting his game. Malik Collins, a sack and a half. I love it. Uh, Evan Anderson got in there. The big boys. See, I like the big boys in the middle, baby. I like to get that push in the pocket, baby. That's what it's all about. That push in the pocket from the big guys. I'm all about it, right? Uh, we, we need that. I, I think if we could afford to lose anybody, it was Hargrave because he just wasn't giving us that heart. He wasn't giving us that push in the pocket. And we need that. We need the push in the pocket. 28 seconds to go. Victory play. Brock takes a knee. Everything's looking good in 49 land. Uh, Sam Akuwano playing well. Um, yeah, 49ers play well. D. Winters, nice sighting of him. Fred Warner. That guy, we need, we need 22 Fred Warners. Had a hell of a game. Interception, fumble recovery, hurt his ankle. I hope he's good or else the 49ers are not good. Defense looks good. Still giving up deep plays to slow guys. What are we doing? I'm not going to complain too much. We're getting our stuff together slowly but surely. Um, the tough things are Brock's getting hit too much. Guys are not getting open fast enough. Um, Brock is getting better at throwing to the right guys. He forced one up to Ayuk. Uh, that, don't, don't, don't feel sorry for Brandon. He makes 30 million a year, okay? You could take some criticism. You took the money, you take the criticism, bro. Alright? And I, I'm on your side. I make videos having your back. Brandon, you're a fellow number 11, homie. So don't worry about it, but you gotta, we gotta get on the same page with that. Um, Isaac Arreno kind of disappointed with that big fumble. You don't want Debo back there, but you know what? Debo's a man. He'll do anything for this team. That's why. That's why he's a. That's why you. You know he's a. He's a long time 49er. Uh, you saw Nick Bosa in there fighting for that damn sack. He didn't want these youngsters getting more sacks than him. Did Nick, did Nick get an official sack here? And yeah, Nick Bosa got an official sack, but he, he was he was everywhere, all right. And you know who's everywhere? I won't be everywhere, but I'll be here for you. Gary Land, Man of Mania crew. Gary Land, Man of Mania mafia. 49ers win, 30 to 13. Do we solve all the problems? No. Um, but we did figure out, you know, Brock is not a game manager. What a game manager is, is what we saw with Jacoby Brissett. A smart dude, took a lot of hits, doesn't take a lot of chances. Uh, Fred Warner kind of took his lunch uh, with that interception. But, um, that, that's a game manager. Jacoby Brissett is a game manager. Uh, Brock Purdy, that guy's a baller, right? Um, we could be better in the fourth quarter. Um, our defense... A lot better up the middle. Proud of these guys. I like seeing D. Winters. I like that one play, some speed. I like that, all right? A little bit of fire. Jair Brown looking better. Uh, I'd rather play these young guys and let them get some time in the game. Um, because if you got to get time at the wrong time, is lame. I don't want to pull guys off the streets again. Let the young guys play. Uh, this was a huge win. Represented Levi's. And I'm going to go represent some fun. I'm going to go have a Goonie adventure right now. Gary Land Made Event Mania, 49ers, post game, defeat the Patriots 30 to 13. God bless you. Keep it real. Keep it clean. Always got to rhyme, baby. Peace.